Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Kelly Pappas. I'm the Director of Client Success at TalentQuest, and I am here to give you a demo of our new user experience um, with TalentQuest. This, what you're looking at on my screen right now, is our new login page. This is our demo account, but some of you may have your own um, images, and if you have a custom um, colors or logo, you'll see your own logo here and your own images behind that screen. And this is where you'll go to enter your username and password now. Um, the web URL is still the same, go.talentquest.com, and you can still click the Need Help link, which will help, help you lo either log in for the first time or retrieve your login information if you've forgotten it. I'm going to go ahead and get logged in, and we'll take a look at our new homepage. Um, again, this is our demo account. I'm in our VRM Analytics organization. On the homepage, you can see front and center, we still have a tasks panel. Um, that is anything that I have that's outstanding to do in the system. So it's still available there in the My Tasks section right there, front and center. Um, and this account has lots of things that they need to do, some overdue tasks as well. A couple changes in the My Tasks panel include um, the tasks are now grouped by module. So you'll see I've got some selection assessment tasks, some learning tasks, 360 surveys, compensation, performance reviews, and goals. And the tasks are all listed and you can view them all by scrolling down or you can click the show all and that will expand and enlarge that panel to show you all the tasks on that one screen. You can access a task by clicking on the name of the task. That's going to give you a pop-up that shows you the cards or tiles um, for the individuals that you have a task for. So if I take one that has a few that are pending, for example, filling out the 360 survey, you can see I've got several tiles. I've got several tasks to fill out 360 surveys for different individuals. Um, in this incident, incident, this particular task, I can actually select several of them and perform them at the same time. Or I can select one, and perform just that one task. Not all of your tasks can be performed at once, but the 360 feedback survey could if it was on the same template, and so could a performance appraisal approval step. Um, if you have lots of tasks in that one particular panel, you can sort them by due date, by name, by template name, in either ascending or descending order. And you can search by name for a specific individual and find their, their specific tile that way. You select the tile you want to perform the action on and click the Perform Action button. And that will take you directly to the task. Um, just for kind of high-level recap, the, the new user interface only affects the login page and the home page um, for now. And then as we continue to enhance different features throughout the system, those will change and we'll communicate those to you in advance. Um, but for now, this is the change that's coming out that came out today and um, nothing else on the inside of the system, for example, a performance appraisal review form or your goals page or your profile, those all uh, remain the same for now and look the same. So we're going to start over here on the left side of the screen. We've got a go-to menu, what used to be called the go-to menu, we're now calling the main menu. If you click on it, it slides out to the side and then you can scroll and see all your menu options and select them that way. And if I click outside of that, it will simply um, slide back in. And then along the left side is where all your navigation can be found. So you can see that we've got a card that allows you to click into your profile. Below that, if you are a manager, you can see My Team. And there's a couple additional features on the My Team view. You can show them on your organizational chart. So that gives you a visual image of the org chart, your hierarchy. You can, if you have our succession module enabled, you can plot them on the talent grid. So this is going to actually take you to our talent grid directly and plot all of your direct and indirect reports on a talent grid, assuming they have a performance and potential rating in the system. You can even show your bench strength. Again, so if you are a succession management module client, um, you can plot your team on that org chart but also add um, additional layer of information with this bench strength analysis and, and nominate and view successors for your team. Below that, you'll see the list of my direct reports, and then below my direct reports, and those will be listed um, just in order by name. Below that, 
you'll see indirect reports and it's going to show me the second level followed by third if I have any and so on and so forth. Um, you can even search for an individual. So if you have fourth level direct reports or you have farther down in the org organization you want to find someone, you can search for them if they're in your hierarchy just by clicking in their name and you'll see anybody who matches that pop up. You'll also notice that each individual um, in my list it has a little image and a green circle surrounding that image. That green circle indicates how complete their user profile is. So that's your visual indicator of how much they've completed on that profile. And if you click the arrow to the right of their name, you're going to see a profile summary pop up. If I want to view the individual's full profile, I simply click the view full profile button at the bottom. Otherwise, I get this nice summary of what's on their profile in a contextual way, along with any of their ratings. Um, you can also pin this panel. So what that basically means is it allows me to pin it or dock it to the side of my uh, system session, and that will stay that way um, throughout my entire time of being logged in. If I want to get rid of it, I simply click the X and that goes away. Below that, you have access to dashboards, and so if you are a manager or an administrator of the system, um, that's where you'll access all of our dashboards based on the modules that you have access to. Below that, we've got your performance journal link. And again, this has a couple additional features, so you can see each of your individual direct reports followed by um, second or third level direct reports. You can see when there was last activity that you made in that individual's performance journal. You can view your own performance journal. And again, you can pin that to the side and keep that available throughout your entire working session in the system. Um, you'll also notice if you click on the performance journal, you'll see um, that the actual view of that performance journal look, looks a little different. You simply click the button by, uh, to add a new entry. You can edit or delete any old entries. You can export, and you can even now um, add an entry and add an attachment to that entry. So that's another new feature. Here's where you would share your entry with your direct report, and if that was an indirect report you were making an entry on, you had, would have the option to share with them and or their direct manager if you wish. And then below that, we have another new feature, which is our quick links. If I pop that panel out, you'll see that I've got a list of all of my recently visited pages, and I can click on them to jump to that page and get back right where I was. So it's going to remember your recent activity in the system. And then if you um, go to that page a lot and you want to keep it as one of your favorites, you click the little star next to it, and then it becomes on your favorites list. And you can um, jump to that page very quickly that way you can pin this panel over to the side of your session as well. Um, so we're going to go back onto the top of the page where we, show, we showed your My Tasks section, and I'm going to give you a little more overview on um, some of the other additional features you'll see on the home page. Off to the right is our, another new feature of our TQ Insights um, piece of our system. Um, this is actually performance tips for me as an individual based on the assessment data that I have in the system. So if you use our assessments, um, you'll see, and if you have that information on file for yourself, if you took one or if a manager did, you'll see that they will see a TQ Insights window that shares some performance tips based on their performance, based on their assessment information, rather. I'm going to scroll down, and you're going to see that I've got a little did you know, um, kind of a reminder of something I haven't been doing in the system lately. Uh, it's telling me that I'm at risk of meeting my goals because they're not, um, I haven't updated any activity. And then it's giving me a call to action here where I can click the update activity button and be taken directly to those goals and log some activity toward them and show that I am working towards completion. Below that, if you are a manager, you're going to see a My Team window or panel. Um, this is going to provide summary information, sort of a dashboard is what I would refer to it as. Um, on my direct and indirect reports. It's going to tell me how many pending tasks are, are due for this, these the individuals that report to me. It tells me their average tenure based on hire date that we have stored in the system. It shows me their average profile completion, their uh, average kind of position on the talent grid, a goals status overview, how many are behind schedule, past due, completed, and then some activity in the performance journal for my individual direct and indirect reports. So it tells me 
how many entries they've been making, um, and when was the last activity. And then you'll notice a couple of these also have some call to actions. So the pending tasks report has a link and it would take me directly to that pending tasks report and show me who are those individuals who have something that's still outstanding in the system to perform. Um, it allows me to jump to a talent grid if you have our succession module um, and take, go back and plot that nine box um, view of all of my direct and indirect reports. And it also allows me to generate a goal status report directly from this link here. If I scroll down a little, oh, and actually, yeah, if I scroll down a little further, um, you're going to see a summary of my goals. So if you use our goals module, each individual who has goals that are current um, or open, we'll see the panel below that, say, showing me what my goals are, how complete they are, kind of a high-level summary of the weighting, um, their status, last activity, due date, etc. And then if I click on the view details on either one of these, it's going to take me back to that, that goals page that you're typically used to seeing um, where I can add and edit goals and add activities. I'm going to scroll back up to the top of the screen, and I'm going to show you that if you click on your logo, it's going to take you to the home page. You can also click on the little house icon off here to the right, and that's going to take you back to the home page. I mentioned before that off to the left, you've got a little button here that allows you to view your profile. You also can see that by clicking your name or your picture, um, you can jump to your profile that way as well. And I've also got a visual indicator here um, by this green circle surrounding my picture that shows me how complete my own profile is. Next to home, we've got our contact link. And so that provides your, your users or your end users with contact information for the system administrator at your organization. And then next to that, you can see a settings tab, which if you click, you can view your account settings. This is where you would go to view or change your username or your password. Um, if you're an administrator or if you're a manager with additional rights to log in as other users, this is where you can view your switch user. Um, this is where you can go to switch users and log in as a different user. And then you can click there to log out. And lastly, I want to show you our new site-wide search. Site-wide search has been enhanced. Um, you'll notice if I start typing in the name of someone that I want to locate in the system, that my results are not going to be limited to just five anymore. And of course, this just has five, because that's all there are. But let's try and find something a little less specific. We're going to look for John. You'll see that there are lots of Johns in the system, and I can scroll down to view all of them. And it's just simply going to keep loading and scrolling until you reach the end of your search results. The other thing you can do is filter your results. So if you know that you just want to look for users, or you are just looking for a certain template in the system, a report, or a unit, organizational unit in your company, um, you simply check the box next to it, and then your results will only ret be returned if they are users, or they will only be returned if, there are, if they are an aggregate report. Um, if you have any questions, I'm going to open the floor to questions, and you can actually type those in to the message chat panel on the right-hand side of your screen where the go to login window is. If there are any questions or anything you'd like to ask, um, you I can't hear, you're on mute, so you can type them into the chat window, and I'll open the floor to that for just a few minutes now and see if there are any. And if not, um, we will make this a recorded webinar that you'll have access to. We'll send out a link to, and you can share with other individuals in your organization if you'd like. Okay, I don't see any chats being entered, so if you do have questions that you think of or, or that come up over the next couple of weeks as you get to know the new site, please feel free to email us at support at talentquest.com or reach out to your client success representative here at TalentQuest and we'd be happy to help you. I hope everybody has a great Friday afternoon and a nice long weekend. Thank you so much for joining us.